Are you guys tired of getting 100% CPU usage on your computer? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix all of your CPU issues. Hey guys, Bearfox here back again into another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about best settings that can fix your 100% CPU usage. So make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is always keeping your windows up to date. Now for that you have to simply search for windows update. In this window you will see if there are any updates available to install. If there are any you can simply click on install all and let them download then you have to restart your pc once and you always have to make sure that your windows is up to date this will basically fix any of the bugs that are currently being in windows it will automatically fix all of them after that you have to go to find a setting and then search for startup apps over here you have to disable all of the unnecessary applications that you do not want to boot up with your computer this will basically save a lot of processing power right from the start of your computer step Step number three is de-animating windows and this is really simple. For this, you have to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then this performance option will pop right in front of you. Now what you are looking for over here is click on adjust for best performance and that will basically de-animate your windows completely. Just like that. Once you click on apply, it will take a while to apply it. And once it is done, you can see the changes. Your system fonts go to default fonts. Whenever you move your cursor, it will just make these boxes so you won't see any kind of animations. If you click on the taskbar, you can see it just pops up. There is no more animations on your windows. But if you want a little bit animations over here, if you don't like this look of windows, you can simply click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. and simply click on apply and that will make your fonts normal and it also adds a little bit of animations to your icons once you're done with that simply click on ok now this step itself will fix a lot of problems in your computer and you will see drastic improvements but if it is not the case you can search for system configuration and this is step number four you have to open up system configuration and go into the boot section in here click on advanced options and then click on number of processors make sure to select the maximum number of processors and click on ok and then apply to apply these settings this will basically enhance your computer's boot time for the long run. Step number five is basically the power plan. And for that, you have to go to your control panel. Then go and search for power options. You will find power options in the search panel. Over here, your computer will by default have three basic power plans. Balanced, high performance and power saver. In case you want to utilize the maximum resources of your computer, I highly recommend you guys to use high performance and that will always keep your CPU up and running. But if you're on a laptop, I highly recommend you guys to go for balanced. Do not choose high performance as it is not good for the long run. Your power plan impacts on your computer drastically. If you have a power saving or balanced power plan, your computer will focus more on saving power and hence your CPU will limit its resources and it can hit 100% really easily. If you are on high performance, your CPU will be performing efficiently. Now step number six, you have to search for local group policy editor now once you're over here go into local computer policy go under administrative templates in here you have to go to windows components now over here you have to search for app privacy now over here you will find let windows apps run in the background you have to simply double tap it now over here in this let windows apps run in the background you have to keep it enabled but default for all apps you have to keep it force deny so it will let apps run in the background but by default for all windows application it will force deny to run the applications in the background once you're done with that simply click on apply and that is how you disable the background applications in windows 11. for windows 10 you can simply go into settings and search for background applications and turn that off now step number seven is creating a restore point and this is a really important step for that you have to search for create a restore point and then go into system properties in here find a local disk c click on create and name it windows just a simple name and click on create i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step as it is a very crucial step it can save your computer from any damages once it is done you can simply click on close and close system properties step number eight 
and the last tab is the CPU optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Now once you have downloaded and installed this pack, you can open it up and it will open up in a window like this. You will find in three folders. First one is cleanup, second one is CPU optimization and third one is CPU priority. For the cleanup folder, open it up and you will find it in a clean temporary file start bad. You can simply right click and run it as administrator. Once this window pops up, it will ask you to delete all the temporary files. You can simply press any key and that will start deleting all of the temporary files on your computer. Don't worry, these files are completely safe to delete and you will not lose any essential information from your computer. Now go back to CPU optimization pack and go into CPU optimization folder. You will find in three more registry files over here and in case you are wondering what these things are going to change in your computer, you can simply right click open with notepad to see what are these files going to change in your computer. These are basically the settings that it is going to change and if you feel okay to change these settings, you can simply double click to run them. For maximum performance, I highly recommend you guys to run all three of them but do not run them without creating a restore point. Once you're done applying all three of them, go into the CPU priority folder and you will find in two more folders. First one is for AMD CPU and second one is for Intel CPU. Now if you own an AMD CPU, you can simply open it up and run the AMD CPU priority and that will optimize your AMD CPU to perform more efficiently. And if you own an Intel CPU, go into the Intel folder and run the Intel Priority Registry. This will optimize your Intel CPU to perform much better and faster than ever. Also, in the same pack, in the same CPU Priority folder, you will also find increased power efficiency registry. This will optimize the power being consumed in your computer and being utilized by your processor. So I highly recommend you guys to use the increased power efficiency registry as well to get the maximum output once again guys i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button also do let me know in the comments below that it helps you or not we are really close to 100,000 subscribers and i definitely believe in you guys please hit that red subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out and we'll see you in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out